guys, this is the future of Rec Room. No, I'm not just talking about candy. So if you've not yet checked your watches and checked the store menu, you'll see that there's been a bunch of new UGC items that have been published, including this awesome candy ring, which I, I might have made. Um, but yeah, a lot of really cool original concepts by regular people in Rec Room. And yes, I know Re Avatar Studio has not been released, even in like a beta mode. There's really only like a handful of people who have it. But there's things you could do to prepare and really get ready for when it does get released or if you want to sort of get accepted into the program so i'm going to give you some tips and tricks and of things that i did personally and things that were recommended to me that have helped and yeah i, w I would say it's, it's definitely a long process so if you're going in with zero 3d modeling experience um, there's a lot to learn so now's the best time to get started before before Avatar Studio really gets fully released. My first tip would be download Blender. <laughs> yes, I know it sounds really silly, but Blender is an absolutely free program and it's incredible. It, you can model really anything 3D. Think, think about it as the Maker Pen, but like a thousand more different like functions and add-ons that you could use. There's a lot to learn though on Blender and the best way to learn about how to use Blender would be YouTube tutorials, personally, and you might also want to sign up for a class. For example, I took a character modeling and animation class through Udemy. You have to pay for the classes, but they're not like crazy expensive, and it really walks you through probably like 20 to 30 hours worth of teaching and walking you through step by step from using Blender all the way up until rigging a model with a skeleton, animating, rendering, and everything in between. If you're like me and you like to fidget around with things but you kind of need something organized and you like to follow through a project from beginning to end, highly recommend Udemy. And there's also other websites out there that have very similar courses but that's just the one that I have experience with. All right, next up we have Handy Weights, which is a really cool Blender add-on that was actually recommended by Rec Room staff, and you no, know, they, they, they did not create it. This is just someone who made their own program, and if you don't know what weight painting is, so let me step away from the camera. You see when I'm moving my finger, I weight painted the rings to my index finger, or like if you look at a shirt, you'll see that only certain parts of the shirt move with my arm, and it's just weight painting is just getting the parts of your clothing lined up with your skeleton and it could be tedious and especially for clothing so handy weight definitely comes in handy it makes the weight painting process so much easier with their add-on i'll just have the information to all these programs below as well just so you can click on the link and check it out for yourself next up i used to hand paint everything but because Substance Painter, it's, it's a, made by Adobe, or at least Adobe bought it, but it's a very expensive program. I think if you want to get like a monthly plan just for Substance Painter, it's $50 a month. But Steam actually offers a perpetual license. It will not update, but you'll have it for life, and it's $200, which, yes, I know it's a lot of money, and I know not everyone maybe could afford it right now, but when you do have Avatar Studio, I think it's a cost that you'll definitely recoup. Yeah, it's just an amazing tool for getting all the textures and details onto your clothing in a quick and efficient manner. Sub Substance Painter is sort of like the industry standard, and without doubt, it's the most expensive item that I'm going to recommend. But if you could afford it and you really want to, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't invest. Okay. So you could actually get a free trial. So you get a free 30 day trial on the website, which you can cancel, test it out for yourself. Let me know what you think. And if you do like it and can afford it, go ahead and go get that steam purchase. Obviously the best thing you could do at this moment, Again, if you don't have much Blender experience or you just have very limited experience, it's just practice, practice, practice. One, once you feel more confident and you begin creating avatar items, 
I know someone on, I believe it was the Rec Room Studio Discord, who made a like one for one or almost one for one replica of our avatar meshes and and you can use that as a mannequin to sort of figure out the proportions of Rec Room characters and start modeling out your stuff once you get more familiar with all the software. And lastly, Rec Room does recommend setting up an ArtStation account, which will just show, it's again, it's free. It just showcases your portfolio and all the things that you've created. And it lets them figure out if you're a good fit for the program. This is honestly the future of Rec Room. I can't wait to even share more of my creations. And I am always amazed by all the creations that I see in the Discord. You guys are amazing and there's so many talented people out there. I can only imagine a few months from now how awesome and amazing it will be to walk into Rec Room and just see everyone's custom designs and all the unique ideas that people have to offer, showcasing just their creativity. Hope this video helped you out on your journey. If you are interested in learning about 3D modeling, eventually building clothing, let me know what you guys create. Hope to see all of your beautiful portfolios. If you do have a link to your art stations, feel free to just comment in this video. That's all for today. I'll see you in the next one.